All right, let's hear for 2011, please. Good Lord, we're going to have to adjust that mic here, we need that. Thank you, sir. Um, I think we should have a world con on the moon. <laughs> done this one. I know, I know, but you know, when you have a joke, you can't let it go too soon. You know what I'm like. Instead, we have renovation in Reno, Nevada, August 17th through 21st in 2011. We have flyers that have membership things. When John Lorenz gets back, when well, John Lorenz is back from dinner, honey, I have a check for 17000 and some odd dollars for you because I shouldn't handle money. <laughs> You guys all think I'm joking. I'm not. Um, he has installment forms from the broke of you, which is one of those big problems in the West. We have listed our guests of honor. The most recent news we have is that an organization called Friends of Felk has underwritten a musical guest group, Tricky Pixie. Oh. Yes. Um, for those of you not familiar, Alex um, is the former Heather Alexander, which should make a few more oohs in there. They're very good for this because when Friends of Felk approached me and, and we talked about bringing someone in, I said I wanted somebody that would make people go ooh when I got up at SmothCon. So, <laughs> but also what I wanted was somebody that could do some really good beer drinking songs to fit up with Tim Powers. Um, we are working on various other things with the convention. The most recent thing before Tricky Pixie, which only got settled at Oricon, is that when we first talked to them, they were still sure that the, tu that the Tuscany Ballroom and the Pepper Mill, which is the most luxurious ballroom I've ever been around, seriously, um, would not be available because they would be able to put in lots of large country and western musical concerts. The economy has convinced them that this might not be the case. And when we were down there in October, we went through and looked at a Bear Hall 3 in the convention center and the nicest ballroom I've ever been in with a fan who runs, a huge David Weber fan runs their tech. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the Hugos and the Masquerade will be in the Tuscany ballroom. We would also like you to join us. Um, if I have division heads in the audience, raise your hands, please. Everybody would like to go and volunteer to one of these nice people. <laughs> Everybody volunteer, yes. There are many positions open and you will enjoy them all. Um, okay, I might be exaggerating, but you might enjoy many of them. I think that's the quick report. I'm ready for questions. And my guys will tell me what I miss telling you because they do that all the time. You have to say louder. Smoking. The smoking thing. Okay. I'm going to be talking for smoke, about smoking for the rest of my life now. Um, the truth is that there will be about 20% smoking rooms in each hotel. The main casino floor is smoking in each hotel. The convention center is completely non-smoking. The Tuscany ballroom end of the pepper mill, that whole end of it is, they have trouble with smoking too. They're trying to get rid of smoking down there because they're discovering that 32% of their business is people who are gambling and they need whatever the rest of that is to make 100. Getting up in front of an audience affects my math skills. Um, thank you. They need those people to have less smoke, so there are non-smoking wings particularly well done in the pepper mill. Um, if you are in the Atlantis on the casino floor checking in, the biggest smoke you're going to notice is when you're checking into your hotel room. But the setup we have is that we're in a separate tower. You can go down to the second floor across to the convention center and never get close to the casino floor. They're looking at doing more regulations on limiting the smoke even further. Um, 
And frankly, every time we ask, we get a slightly different answer on how soon that's going to happen. It could be considerably more smoke-free by 11. But nobody knows because they're all arguing about it down there. It worries me that Ben's asking me a question. <laughs> Is it true that since the bid ended and our initial flyer came out, that we have since gotten free internet in all of the hotels? You know, if anyone who worked for me was respectful, they would have merely gotten the microphone and reported this instead of being quite so rude. I don't know, Ben, is it? Yes. When I was running this bid, someone walked up to me and said, you do realize you have a few too many cowboys on your bid committee. And, and I seem to have learned that they might have been right. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Which major airline is flying to Reno? <laughs> and is one of them Southwest? <laughs> oh, it's definitely Southwest. That's what I fly in on them. Pretty much all of them. It is a smaller airport, it's like Austin, but I, when, when checking the flights through there, I have found all of the major ones. I think Southwest is the easiest. Yeah. Additionally, there are free shuttles to both of the yes. hotels from the airport. I, I like John a lot better because he's willing to just get up and say there are free shuttles that run from the airport instead of putting me on the spot. Thank you, John. I'll give you a check for a lot of money later. Um, that now that you have negotiated free wireless, can you get busy on the really important thing of arranging for the blackjack tables to accept surrender? <laughs> I am told we can arrange all of the gambling we want, either with people like Adam Stemple, who are professional gamblers, or they will teach us to gamble all we want as part of programming. They're looking into that. I did. I understand that they're going to allow surrender as long as you guarantee that you'll split tens. Is there any part of the casino that's not smoking? No, there is not. Although, one of the things that I've noticed in the nearly two years now that I've been going down there is that the percentage of people smoking there is going down. Uh, but no, there, there, you always can smoke on the casino floor. There, there are smoke-free slot machine areas in the Atlantis. And some of the blackjack tables are non-smoking, but there you're surrounded by smoking. Yeah. So. Essentially, it doesn't seem very non-smoking. Because I was expecting you to be answering the question, so I wasn't paying close attention to Mr. Gallo when he asked his. Uh, could you just confirm for me whether the free Wi-Fi is hotel only or convention center as well? I don't know. You weren't paying attention to Mr. Yellow? No. The smart right. thoughts are going to get you, girl. Right now, it is hotel only. However, what we have negotiated with the convention center is that we are allowed to build our own network, which means that, assuming we have the money, we can get a bunch of drops put in and build our own Wi-Fi network, assuming that Everything works out the way we're hoping to. We want to play. $17,000. We, seriously, one of the things in looking at this convention center when they said you could build your own computer network, my first response was, ooh, we get to play. Okay. Thank you very much. If you have not upgraded your membership, if you have not bought your membership, if you have not volunteered to help us, we would love to talk to you this weekend. Thank you.